We the North is not proper English. It's not proper English. And I think that's why it resonates with an immigrant fan base. It's something that your, your, your grandfather might have said. It's something your Jamaican uncle might have said. It's something your, you know, your, your, your uh, Slovak grandma might have said. We've, it's, the, the brilliance is in the incorrect grammar. This is a nice setup. Wow. That's a great shot right there. Wow. Yeah. We, the North, in many ways, we're in a league of our own. One step removed just beyond the boundaries. Cause that's where the effort resides. Toughness is found. The aggression is tapped on the inside. We are the North Side. A territory all our own. And if that makes us outsiders, we're in. Oh, that brings me goosebumps just listening to that. The first time I saw We the North, I had chills, I feel like. Yeah, the first time I was going like, whoa, what's that, right? And it kind of caught me off guard, right? I, I, I don't know where I was, but it was kind of like just over there, right? So then I saw it again, I go, wow. Whoever thought of this, they are brilliant. I thought it was ingenious. I thought it spoke volumes as to um, our franchise, our organization. I, the first time I saw it in, what's it called, Becker, Montreal? Where do they do um, preseason? Montreal. Mm -hmm. When I saw it in French, I was like, yo. Yeah, it this works. This is really cross, cross the country. This is, it transcends languages, any kind of cultures, any barriers. We the North is a real we for the Raptors, so it was awesome. I think I said thank you when it happened. As a fan of the Raptors from day one, going to the games in the Sky Dome, at the time, you know, you looked at this and you said, finally, someone's given us an identity and something that can bring us all together and really be proud of. At that moment, if you were a basketball fan or a Raptors fan, there was kind of two elements of, of being um, kind of on the outside looking in. And one was, was within Toronto and within Canada, you were always the second conversation. You always almost had to explain yourself and you were like a little tribe unto yourself. And so, you know, it, it really kind of, I think, bonded people together. It was a way for people to connect because they shared something that was a little different than the mainstream. It gave Toronto fans the right to take away the, oh, unless somebody approves us, we're not that good. Hell no. We've looked south of the border for so long for their validation. They had to say we were cool, we were popping, in order for us to say that we were cool and popping. So for this We The North movement to come out to be like, we don't need your stamp of approval. We're good up here, We The North. I think that it was deeper than just the franchise. Once the Grizzlies left Vancouver, they were the only team in Canada, but there really wasn't this groundswell of Canadian support for them. And I think We The North was a way to thumb your nose at the NBA establishment. Like we count, we mean something, and we're in this together. It became all of Canada, whether you were in Calgary or Edmonton or Halifax or Winnipeg or Montreal or whatever. I think now it's taken on something bigger than just the Raptors and basketball. You could see it in every arena that we play in that they support. We have fans and sometimes more fans than than the home team. We talk about like the Vince Carter days, like we hadn't had that euphoria and excitement with the fan base for so many years. And, you know, I remember like the Raptors fans, you know, obviously Jurassic Park grew out of that. That's when I started believing this whole We The North thing, right? Like it's cool to put in a slogan, put it on t-shirts and things like that, but you have to match it with the product, right? The uh, urban legend that those got pulled ahead and they were supposed to be for the next year, but the Raptors accidentally got good, is like, it's such a cool footnote to it um, that I think adds to it. But I thought it was a great piece of marketing. You know, the Raptors is the only Canadian team. The Raptors is a team that are slept on, not only in the NBA, but sometimes in their own city. We the North 
is probably one of the more influential slogans in sports, at least in this country, uh, in sports history, and it's still associated with the team. It's everywhere. And it was a genius move at the, exactly the right time because it got people really jazzed up and the rest of the league started to take notice of the fan base here. The timing of all of that was just so right. When you think back to where the team was, where the fan base was, and now, of course, it is, you know, something that will be there forever. It really just encapsulates and, and mm, summarizes the emotion of being a representative of Canadian basketball. This is year 25, but in year 50, in year 75, in year 100, we the North will always be there because it's, a, it's the national team. And I think if you look at the Raptors championship run and the four series uh, and viewing parties nationally and people just going bonkers, I think the genesis of all that was based upon the fact that the Raptors came out with something really smart and that was uh, the We the North campaign. We the North. In many ways, we're in a league of our own. One step removed, just beyond the boundaries. Some would say we're on the outside looking in. But from our perspective, we're on the outside looking within. Because that's where the effort resides. Toughness is found. The aggression is tapped on the inside. We're far from the east side. Miles from the west side. Nowhere near the south side. We are the north side. A territory all our own. If that makes us outsiders, we're in.